Well, I think for Marquez, he's got to step that jab early. The way Marco Antonio Barrera beat, beat uh, Nassim. Good Nassim combination. Ahmed. And, uh, but he's got to be careful when he throws that left hand, which is a very powerful left hand, not to overcommit. Another good combination from Juan Manuel Marquez. 30-year-old fighter right here in Las Vegas, February 1st of last year. Then backed it up with a victory over Derek Smoke Gaynor. Heck out! There's that left hand. Comes in with a left hand and puts Marquez on the seat of his pants. You'll see the power of Pacquiao coming here. He has a huge left hand, and that's where everybody gets into trouble. Fred Norwin knocked him down. Daryl Pickney, a good German fighter, knocked him down. But he appears to be all right right here. Well, this is the thing. Down goes Marquez again with another left. That is his bread and butter, that left hand. Now his confidence has got to be think, shot. Yeah, he's got to be in a little bit of trouble here. He gets knocked down again. The referee might end the fight. He didn't even get started, and Pacquiao was all over him. That could be it. If he lays in there with that left hand, he gets he, he gets too careless. He could very well be countered by Marquez. He looks to be in trouble still. I don't think good he's uppercut recovered. for Manuel Marquez. He's a pretty cool customer though, there, Marquez, and uh, he's just a lot more comfortable and stronger at 126. Juan Manuel's got a lot of bloody nose to deal with. Oh, it's a good combination, like you said. Pacquiao can get careless. If you lay in there, you lay in there with that left hand, like Pacquiao did. You're going to get countered. You see Marquez counterpunching. That's the real danger against him. If you lay in there, you lay in there with that left hand like Pacquiao did, you're going to get countered. He's got a broken nose, I believe. But he doesn't have a broken will yet. No. Uh, he's proven. He's proven right there. This thing is a little bit more under control now for Marquez. I think that Pacquiao knows he just can't just rush in on Marquez without paying a price. Juan Manuel Marquez was knocked down three times in the first round. He's still with us. And he's in this round right here, too. This is a very close Oh, good round. right hand from Marquez. Good right hand from Marquez. Oh. So that's a nice right hand. Marquez just picking his shots in there, trying to counter Pacquiao. It's tough to lead against him because he's so awkward. He's awkward, and he's also reckless at times. Oh. So that's a nice right hand. Marquez. He does have a tendency to leave himself wide open. Oh, good right oh, hand. Another one. There's a replay. So he gets his head out of position. Right, Marquez just picking his shots. He's he's not leading and just throwing to be throwing. He's he's conserving his punches, and when he's throwing them, he's landing them. He sees the opening, he finds it. He's he's conserving his punches, and when he's throwing them, he's landing them. He sees the opening, he finds it. That's amazing. You think he got the guy? No, oh, he got him again. Him. Left hand that time. Pacquiao's taking a whooping this time. Pacquiao keeps rubbing at his eyes. Something's bothering him. He got backed up with the ropes. Then he fights out. Fast and furious. And all those who thought that we may be seeing the good right hand. He's got Pacquiao in trouble. Pacquiao flails out of trouble. Another right hand. Good he's right hand there, Lester. Oh, yeah, he's, he's starting to land that right hand as Pacquiao lays in there. He's had a lot of experience against left-handers, and that experience that he had in the past with left-handers is paying off for him right now. Good uppercut, going to the body. He's landing that left hand. He's getting sloppy with it, where it was straight before. Or if he'd seen the opening, he would have brought the right hand. Good combination, backs Pacquiao up. Unbeaten his last 13 fights is the lefty Manny Pacquiao and the champion is unbeaten in his last 13 fights. He's won 11 of them by knockout. Just digging the body. That's what they want him to do. Nice and patient. There's that uppercut we were talking about earlier. For my peeps. Good uppercut. Boy, I tell you what. Marquez just picking him up. Marquez is just picking him. He's, like got, a, he's got his number now. Chant going up around the arena, Mexico, Mexico. I wonder who that's for. Pacquiao line. And ever since the second round started, Marquez has made him pay for every punch he's thrown. 
Boy, Marquez is just wicked with his counter punching, just tagging you on the chin. If you've got two good ones like Marquez, very tough to get beat. Oh man, look how Marcus just drills you straight in, backs you up, combinations, then stays out of harm's way. But Pacquiao did get a punch in there. Pacquiao picking up the yeah. energy now. Let's see, here comes Marcus countering. One, two, one, two, but he's having to, every time he throws something, he gets countered. We're in the 11th round, and Marquez really impressive the way he came back from almost being out in the first round. All coming off this fight. Neither fighter can take a chance here that they think that they're ahead and they can get this right round away. Good right hand from the champ. To Bazooka Lamone in a great fight. So here we are 22 years later with two, two great warriors from Mexico and one from the Philippines. For the winner to fight, Eric Morales, you can't help but think that the public's going to demand a rematch here. Neither fighter knowing how the decision will go. I think you're getting ready to see the pace stepped up considerably here. Both fighters are going to start throwing. He hasn't done anything this round to establish himself as the winner of the round. All the efforts been from the Pac-Man. Nacho, I don't know if he meant it sincerely, but he thought if he got this decision, it'd be a miracle. And it may very well be a miracle to get the decision here. The champion's nose is not bleeding. Go figure. Wasn't that amazing? Maybe he needs for it to bleed. I don't know. I don't think anybody's going to ask for the money back tonight. No. Maybe some people lost their bets. <laughs> Depends on what they scored that first round with the three knockdowns, and that's it. Both fighters, hands in the air. What a great fight. Lived up to the building and the height.